good afternoon everybody this is Brittany Jennings coming to you live and today it's Friday guys we made it and I am celebrating by coming over to Angel Senior Living today we're gonna go in we're gonna take a tour of the community um, as we're looking around we are going to be able to talk with the executive director he is new and his name is Al and he's fantastic and so he's gonna give us a tour and talk about the community and so let's go ahead and get a couple shots of the community here the location is over on Clark Road and Honoré Avenue. And Al's going to talk about some of the details of the services that they offer, but they have assisted living and memory care. And they just celebrated last month their one-year opening. So let's welcome in and... Hi, good afternoon. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you today? Fantastic. Thanks for visiting Angel Senior Living in Sarasota. How are you? Very good. We're so excited to be here. And I've already um, mentioned to viewers that you are new to the community. So I welcome. Am. Thank you. I appreciate it. My, yeah, my name is Al Segui. I'm the Executive Director of Angel Senior Living here in Sarasota. It's a gorgeous community. We just built this community a year ago last month. Uh, so it's very new in the Sarasota County area. A little bit about Angel Senior Living. We are family owned and operated, so our our, uh, our owners are very involved with daily operations. Uh, Bobby Bennett, Robert Bennett, usually uh, comes to our community to check I out things. I didn't hear that last comment. Uh, you didn't hear that last comment? Would you repeat that again, please? I was just saying our owners yeah. are from the Tampa area. Grant, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, buddy, I'm doing great. I'd love to hear that. That's great news. <laughs> yeah. You gonna get something to eat? Uh, no, nothing to eat. Not, nothing to eat, just hanging out? But lots of food here. I love to hear that too. <laughs> <laughs> right. It smells good in here. Good. Yeah, I want to take you this way, but we're going to take our memory care residents to, uh, to, to the little right. Hey, how are you, love? Smiley. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Good. 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 So right about now, we're, we're so we trying to do something uh, once a week or so. We have different types of events. Um, and today, being Friday, usually we have happy hour. But along with that happy hour, we're going to do a pasta as well. Oh, sounds delicious. Oh, fantastic. So this is Jeff. Jeff has been the uh, assistant living for 20 years. Exactly. What are we doing here? We're gonna do wow. a we're gonna do a grilled chicken with with uh, red sauce and cheese over the top with some green beans, real quick. With that sounds a little delicious. Bit of Parmesan and Italian ragu on it. So Jeff also, when he's in assisted living, when he's not working, he's also volunteering for the Salvation Army. It's yes. kind of God's mission, which is similar to what we do here at Angels. You're supposed to. It's my life. I I enjoy taking care of the poor and the. They need to be fed too. Everybody needs to be fed in the world. Absolutely. So you've been cooking for 20 years with assisted living, but have you been cooking your entire life prior to that? I started when I was five. My mother wow. put me on the counter and said, here, there's a grill. We had a flat top grill in there. And she says, you got to learn to feed yourself because nobody's going to do it for you, boy. <laughs> and now you're feeding everybody. Well, I, I, I love what I do. And it shows. I have a big heart for this place and the people around me. I love people. I enjoy it. Absolutely. We're just gonna That's what it's all about. Hi, how are I'm you? Historian. And Jeff has been with our facility since it opened a year ago. I'm blessed to have him for sure. So to your left are some of the residents that are coming down now. Hello. Our census right now is roughly about, let's just say mid-30s or so. We're going to continue to grow. So some of our folks are actually here downstairs now. And then some of our other uh, residents are upstairs doing another different activity. They're actually painting upstairs. Very nice. We try to split them up, you know, whatever we want to do. That's what we're, that's what we're here for. Huh? Thank you, Jeff. Yes. Jeff, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, to our left, we have a gathering area. We have special events in that area. Sometimes a loved one may have a birthday and they want to celebrate it here because their grandmother, their mom or dad is having a difficult time leaving the community. We can do that here, which is fantastic. Wonderful. We also have the all-day uh, all dining area. We're not, again, not utilizing it today because we're using the bistro. But it starts at 7.30 in the morning. It ends at 6.30 in the evening. And breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Here's our menu here. Um, I would say very similar to restaurant style dining. So we have two items per, per meal. So if this doesn't suit your palate, we also have an all day menu too that starts at 7.30 and ends at six o'clock. 
Uh, and it can go from, you know, tuna salad, egg salad, it really, cob salad. We also have beef tenderloin, hamburgers, BLT. You name it. Hey, love, how are you? I'm not thinking anybody goes hungry here. No. With Jeff and with that menu. No, no one goes hungry here. Uh, and everything's made from scratch. We've got a full size kitchen in the back, and like I said, everything's made from scratch. We take great pride in what we do in the kitchen and really in the entire community. I want to take you over to memory care. Let's do it. So, talk about I, I let viewers know that you have assisted living and memory care. What is the breakdown of apartments? You know, how many total residents for the whole community, and then what's the breakdown between the two areas? So, our occupancy right now um, for total, when everything's said and done, is going to be 110. Now, we have 19 units in memory care right now. Thank you, love. We have 19 units right now in memory care, uh, in memory care and I'd say we have about seven residents. Uh, so we're continuing to grow, and as we grow, I mean, more residents will come in. Uh, this is always so neat to see right here. I love this. And we've got the local touch here, St. Armand's and Siesta Key, yeah. some of the local favorites. Our, we take great pride in our memory care. We take great pride in what we do, obviously, but i got to tell you, my thing is our memory care unit. I consider it one of the best in the area um, because it's wide open. It's 100% welcoming. The colors, the light coming in, it's just phenomenal. The residents love it, the families love it as well. The layout really uh, was done perfectly. Yeah, it's um, really bright in here. Very, very positive feeling. Yeah, and then you have the nursing station right here dead set in the middle. So everything kind of surrounds what they're doing. So when it comes to our med techs, when it comes to our resident care aides, they're able to respond in a relatively quick fashion. I like that. Take it to the bottom. Perfect. And in this um, particular area, is it all studios? It is. It's all studios, correct. Okay. Now, this one is, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I would like to redo it a little bit. This is where a woman's touch may be where it's at. <laughs> I'm not good at decorating. Uh, but it looks very nice. I had a couple of people say, we should move the bed, move it to a different area. I kind of almost agree, but for sure. what it is, I think it's fantastic. But the and, space is great. Yeah. Wow, good this size. bathroom. Mm -hmm. I want this bathroom for my own personal home. Exactly. <laughs> Granite countertops, you got the roll-in shower, even you got the roll-in sink, uh, nice. which is great for, for wheelchairs. It's really great. And of course, you got the bars to, to help transfer. Absolutely. Now, I would like to show you upstairs uh, in our assisted living, but I have to tell you that um, our like, most of our activities is done in the second floor. We like to spread things around because we don't want to keep residents on one area. Uh, so our activities room is in the second floor. There's tons to do upstairs, uh, and you'll get a better idea of the overall layout from the second floor, and then we'll take you to the model room on the third floor. Perfect. All right. Well, we will catch back up with the viewers in just a moment.